Today we're going to break some glass, have some fun and learn all about the different types of glass. Right, we're going to use a bocce ball to break some glass. Away you go. Awesome, let's smash this out. glass the characteristic of this or more should I say you'll find this in older buildings and it breaks really easily breaks into shards and can hurt people so this is how three mil float breaks into sharp shards that can cut you very very easily this is four mil glass float glass with safety film on it which would make it compliant now in a childcare centre. So if there was an impact, the glass would break, but the safety film would hold the glass intact. This is 638 laminated glass. So that's two pieces of three mil float sandwiched together either side of a poly interlayer so you can see the film so this will still break fairly easily but when it does break the, the plastic interlayer will hold the glass together so that's why it's called a grade safety glass don't forget this is laminated glass let's see what happens toughened glass. This is float glass that then is recooked to give you the idea of what happens to it. So it's toughened glass. This is A grade safety glass and to know that it's A grade safety glass it will have a toughening stamp on it. It cannot be cut to size once it has been toughened. It is stronger than a similar thickness in laminated glass but once it shatters, it goes everywhere. It goes into small little fragments. This is six mil toughened glass. Let's see what it takes. That was a bit tough. Let's give it another go. So you can see it's broken into little shards, which won't cut you like three mil float, although they could cause a little bit of um, issue, you know, crumbling, but it's a devil to clean up. This is 1152 laminated anti-bandit glass. It comes in a number of different forms. It can be made even stronger. It can be toughened laminated. And the interlayer is a thicker interlayer than in 638 laminated glass. So this is now used in many service stations, cigarette shops, places like that, where bandits try and break down the glass, break down the door or the console to get to whatever they want to steal so this is really hard to break so we might have to have quite a few goes at this one this is bandit glass let's see what it takes so you can see it's had an impact a significant impact but it's not actually broken the glass so it would take quite a few more poundings for, for the glass to get broken down so they could again access.
still not through the interlayer. You'd need a good little pick hammer to get through that. And hopefully the police or some sort of security will have attended by, by now or be on their way.